Hello everybody, welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet stream. Um, today we're just gonna keep working on our shiny decks. Um, we are currently 62 shinies in out of the 400 that are... I guess it's not technically 400 because the legendaries can't be shiny as well as Gimme Ghoul and um, Goldango are also currently shiny locked. Um, so it's more like probably 390, um, but the 400 is a nice even number and that is the total number of Pokemon in the Pokédex, so we'll just kind of stick with that for now. Um, however, today we will just keep trying to bolster that number up. Um, we do have a um, Stonejourner outbreak, which I'm very excited about. Um, that we will hunt in just a little bit. I wanted to just kind of run around just to see if we see any random shinies or just anything like that. We also have a um, flying six star terror raid that I wanted to check out as well. Um, just to see if we can get any more Urba Mystica um, to help out with our shiny hunt or not. Um, so yeah, last time we found two shinies on stream. We've got the Sinisty um, out of a Sinisty outbreak and then a random um, uh, Toxtricity um, amped up form, which was just wandering around the cave next to Alfornada. So we got a random shiny as well as a hunted shiny from that one, which was kind of fun. So. Yeah, we gotta go over here um, to check out this raid, and then we'll also just check out this one real quick. We do have um, two Herba Mystica currently that we can work with. Um, however, it's always good to have more just to be safe, and the raids are a little fun. So, um, I do believe that Cinderace came back as of. 10 minutes ago as well in raids so we might get an error with this one depending on I guess whether it has updated when I last connected to the internet or not um, it is a slow bro um, so let me see let me see if we can do this I don't know if we can um, it might say that like the raid is no longer available as soon as I try and let anyone join, but we'll see. Oh, looks like it is still available, so let's give it a shot. Um, we do have our Iron Hands that does have Thunder Punch, so I'm hoping that that helps out a little bit. Um, the Fighting type part of and the Psychic part of. Slow King might be a bit of a pain, um, but we'll just give it a shot and see if it goes. So, It does look like Maridon is kind of the the top dog with this one, I would assume. Um, but we'll let's see how this goes. So I can't see the fourth person; they're kind of glitched out. So we'll see what they bring in. Um, but hopefully, it's not like a Breloom or something that'll just get smacked by Slowking. So, but for now. Give it a shot. It's an Ampharos, which works out good. And it's a pink one. So we've got a shiny Ampharos over there. And let's do a belly, belly drum. And then we will hope that we don't get smacked by Slowking. And just use Trick Room, which means we'll go a little bit faster next time. 
Oh, I guess I used it before. Um, ooh, all right, we should be good. That did a lot of damage. Hello there. Welcome in. It's a little bit earlier tonight because why not? Um, but we're trying to destroy a slow king. With our best chance. We're doing a decent amount of damage, which is good, so. I, I think it is. I think it is making the disco, the disco floor. He's fancy, okay? He does what he wants because he's fancy. It also just keeps using Trick Room. Um, so I don't know if that's its only, uh, only move or not. But it exclusively is only using Trick Room. Um, which goes in and out. So, like, each time you use it, the Trick Room happens, and then the next time it gets rid of it. And then it happens, and then it gets rid of it. So I don't know particularly what he's, what it's doing, but we will take a dumb computer for once in these things. An admirable quest. He's doing his best. Oh, there's a Psy Shock that'll probably smack me. He's learned. Too bad it's too late. Um, Tipsy, I don't know if you were on yet, but I do have a Stone Journer. Um, outbreak. So I think we're going to try and do that, and I'm very excited for it. Alright, this was a six-star Slow King, and we didn't get a single Urba Mystica. That's very rude. Very rude. Oh, boy. Where are the Gonzozos at? Honestly, though. Um, and I think Cinderace came back this weekend as of 15 minutes ago. So I don't even know if we'll be able to do very good Urban Mystica hunting. So we shall see what happens here. Oh, yeah. They're back. This works, though. Do, can we get into it is the ant the question. We can. Perfect. Alright, we'll see how this one goes as well. This Iron Hands makes raiding a lot easier. Um, just because it is a tank. Add three more C's tipsy to that he's thick with seven c's after that hyper training he hyper trained in everything however person number one is making a sandwich so we shall see how this goes. There we go. Perfect. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm very excited to hunt Stone Journer. Um, I'm really glad. We got lucky with that outbreak there. Um, I've never seen a Stone Journer outbreak yet. And so I was very pleased that today was the day. Let's punch this bowl. Oh, and it's going to lower its defense for us, too. 
Beautiful. close. Thankfully, Drain Punch gives us all of our health back. I only had to reset twice. So, like, the first round of um, outbreaks I got today were pretty bad um, overall. And, um... So, but then on the second reload, we got the stone journey. And I also think there's one other that um, isn't awful. Oh my goodness, I just personally took out that Tauros. <laughs> Iron Hands is super broken. Super, super broken. But we'll take it. Um, no, Ur this is another six star raid with no Urba Mystica. So dumb. Give me the oibs. Give me the oibs. Um, yeah, let's check out. See if there's one more. We're doing okay with raids right now. Um, so I'll take it because normally they don't go this okay. Normally we just absolutely get smashed by them. Um, this one should be pretty easy we can get into it um perfect look at this go all right we'll see if mabo stiff can give us the the fabled herba mystica that we are wanting oops all leaves look at all those oibs look at all those oibs So yeah, and then I was able to get the the kind of the ROM or I guess the emulator for Heart uh, Soul Silver working pretty well, I think. Um, and I got a new layout for it, so I think rather than haven't decided yet, but maybe on Sunday rather than Scarlet, we'll do our first adventure into Jodo. So, we'll see. I haven't decided quite yet, but I think that would be fun. So, let me go. Oops, all drums. Talk about broken moves. That is one of them. I am low on health and he goes faster, so I have to do this. Just to make sure that I live another day. Ooh. Out. Yeah, that would have... I don't even know if I'll survive this. Um, we'll see. I'm done. I'm done. Ouches. Yeah. 
Mr. Hands fell for the taunt. I'll just redo all that. Oh, he, he reset the abilities anyway, so I still would have just had to have done this, so. Um, I think we should hopefully be okay. Oh yeah, especially, although I wish, I wish that he'd heal up had come half a second later. Um, just so that we could have healed ourselves. Oh, did it? Oh, it did! Nice. Oh, but then he nullified the stat changes. My guy. My guy. We also still have half our time left, so we're doing we're doing fine. But this should Smack him. Noise. Why is the ice dog using a dragon move? Good question. Why does he have that power? Shall run away and hope for the oibs. We got an oib! Alright, we are one for three on six star raids for Urba Mystica. The odds are not in our favor with that one. Um, cool. Alright, let's see if we can get into another one just to see. Um, we've also had a lot of luck getting into raids, which is nice. Um, nor and we haven't had to wait, so we'll see if that continues. But if not, we will go and hunt the Mabo Stiff. The Stiff of Mabos. Uh, do a Deli Bird, five star. Ice. Yeah, Cinderace is back. That one was so brutal. I don't know who decided at Game Freak to make the Cinderace ones. Because, like, Charizard was hard, but it wasn't bad. Uh, Cinderace was hard and bad. So, it, it was wild. But it looks like we will not get into this Deli Bird raid, so we will just... Head off to the desert, and we will hunt our Stonehenge boy. So it looks like, based on where it is on the map, it looks like it's like on top of that rock over there. Um, so we're gonna just fly away and see what happens. Yeah, I think it like the outbreak is actually just on top of this big rock. So we'll see if the map is correct or not, but Yeah, it's just up here. There's just gonna be Stone Journer up here, I guess. Um Oh, does it? Is it gonna snow tomorrow? I didn't. I thought it was done. All right, so I will just start knocking these guys out, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I'll we'll just do one, two, three. Oh, tech, 
goat. It's a bad goat. No. You silly rocks. is not being proactive. Seven. Eight. Nine. in a really confined area too, so I think this should be pretty easy. Seven. Eight. Eight. Thirty. Halfway there now with defeating the rock boys. He's coming at me. Seven-ish. Thirty-eight-ish. Thirty-nine-ish. Forty-one. Oh, I also tried to figure out if I could do some sort of, like, incrementing bar for the shiny progress but i would have had to code one up and i didn't really have time to do that yet um and so we just have the numbers down below for now um we'll see if i can do something a little bit nicer but i'm gonna need some time to code one up just to see if i can do it um yeah, but yeah, the numbers work for now. I might add something to it, um, like a num, like just a clarification as to what it is. Maybe like try to find a shiny symbol um, or something. So I think this is 54, 55. Seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and sixty. And for good measure, sixty-one. All right. So we have now seen all of the stone boys. Um, let's see if I can. Can I reset them? I'm just going to the edge. 
I can. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't even know if we'll need a sandwich for this one. Um, Cause like, if we go to the edge here, all of them respawn. So we can honestly probably just do that a little bit. See if we get lucky. Um, I believe they're the only rock type that'll spawn up here though. So we could also just try and do a rock type sandwich to try and boost their spawns even a little bit more. Um, if we don't want to waste the oibs, since we do only have two, um, and after this, we don't, I don't think there's any other outbreaks. Let me look. Um, nothing really stood out. We've got Tatsugiri. We have Fortress, um, Vaporeon in Lag City, Basculin, um, and then Swablu, and Azuril, so... Stone Dirt is definitely the best one that we got on here. Um, so, and it does look like Fanby can spawn a little bit too, so I'll just have to make sure we don't. Hydrate. I forgot my hydration. Oh no. I will be right back so I can hydrate. Gasp, I'm back with water. She hydrated though. Um, alright, so there's nothing there. So we will reset all the spawns. Um, so yeah, I don't know how you're feeling, Tipsy. Do we want to try and do this without a sandwich? Do we want to just like bump it up like with an encounter sandwich? Or what are we feeling? Another hydrate from Groovy Peach to lay it on me. <sighs> All right, so we are getting a ton of Stone Turner though, which is cool. They're all wigging out because they're four pixels away, so. That's what you get for getting your water bottle. It's true. Um, also, I wanted to do, since we're doing this now, um, let me add him to the layout. Boop, Stone Journer. Just try the old fashioned way. Go ahead and get rid of all these sparrows. Um, it doesn't help when the dong fan and stuff spawn though. Those guys. Where did the stone gunner go? Wait, what happened to the outbreak? What? All of the outbreaks changed. What? Um, if we lost the Stone Journey outbreak, I'm gonna be pissed.
I know I saved before. So hopefully it's still there, but... Okay, so it's still here after that. I don't know if we have defeated any though, but I can tell by going to our little thing and seeing how many stone journer stones we have. Um, that was weird. I don't know what happened with that. Who needs all right we only have a 11 um so this was before we did any of the defeating so let's go ahead and do that again two, one two Three. Cool. It's like deja vu. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. New and exciting glitches. Oh, they can spawn down here too. Seventeen right now, so I'll go ahead and respawn them. Eighteen. Oh my gosh, that's it! I didn't even see it. Wow. All right. Um, that was not even. We didn't even get to twenty. Um, on that one, it. Uh, I guess that was a good little reset uh, right there. Um, but yes, so it is a very, very good shiny. I love how the the like the stone turns dark. It basically inverses. So the light stone becomes dark and the dark stone becomes lighter. Um, well, in that case, I don't know if it has any sad moves. So we're going to try and just put it to sleep initially because I don't know if it has self-destruct but it would be one of those Pokemon that would have self-destruct. Um, so, we are going to... I don't know if we have a Pokeball that kind of fits this guy, but a Luxury Ball kind of with like the darker colors on it kind of feels like it to me. But maybe not. Timer. It's either probably Timer, Luxury, or just a good old classic Premier Ball. Um, or I guess Ultra Ball. What do you guys think? What are we feeling? Luxury? Go ahead and chuck a Luxury Ball over there. He stays in and he does. Um, so... We've got our Stone Journer. Um... Our really, really fast <laughs> Stone Journer. Um, that was a very fast shiny, um, from an outbreak, nonetheless, so here is our 
new shiny. Um, and then we will also bump our shinies up to 63 out of 400. So we'll bump that up. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Um, and we to think we almost lost it as well just because the outbreak decided to just disappear. Um, so because of that, I'm going to save again. Because I don't trust it. Um, Alright, well... <laughs> that couldn't have gone much better, to be honest. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more of a entertaining kind of hunt. Just to kind of take up some time, but I will 100% take a very fast shiny. Um... Uh, and we are currently three boxes in, um, in terms of our shinies, so doing pretty well so far. But that now leaves us with the question of what should we hunt now? Um, in terms of none of the other outbreaks are very good, in my opinion. Like they're just kind of like a Swablu, uh, a Zuril. Um, Tatsugiri only appears in the form that we have in Outbreaks, so, like, the other two forms don't actually appear in Outbreaks, which is kind of annoying. Um, so really there's not much to... to hunt there, um, in terms of Outbreaks, so it's really just up to us as to what we want to hunt. Um, in terms of newer Shinies... Um, that we still need, which is a good majority of them. Um, but I'm thinking kind of desert-wise, we can try and search for, uh, what is, th it's, Bramblegast is the second one, right? What's the, or is that the first one in the line? Um, Bramblin. So yeah, we could search for Bramblin. Um, that is an option that we could do. Um, I did mention, like, um, Shrudel and Grafii. Um, those could be kind of fun to jump into the, um, he's white. So Bramblin is, like, all white rather than kind of the reddy and yellow. So it is a pretty good shiny. Um, Grafii, I think it has different colored ears and maybe eyes. I think his eyes turn purple. Um, we could try and hunt. So like we could stay in the desert some more and try and do Relor. Um, and try and find it's, I think the shiny is it just has a golden ball versus the, the brown one. Um, we could do uh, Tinka Tuff or Tinka Tink, Tinka Tuff slash. Those two kind of pop up in the ruins over here. Um, what else? We could try and go find Satotl. Be kind of fun. But yeah, what are you what are you thinking? What are we feeling? I'm personally leaning towards. Um, I, th I think Shrudel. I think let's go hunt a Shrudel. I think that'll be fun. So, we will head over to the, I think probably the best place is that forest, the tag tree thicket. Um, so let's just look to see if we get any more. Cool. Alright, so let's... Honestly, we probably run over there. Just see if we get any shinies along the way. That worked out pretty well for us last time. It's not going to work out as well today. Um, because that's just how it is. Hell of a... Bit of a shot. Let's see if we can get lucky by just seeing a random shiny as we run across Paldea. Oh, 
Oh my gosh! It happened again! It happened again! It's a shiny flittle! Um, alright. I... I'll take that, for sure. Um... Anyway, Tipsy is always right. Um... While... I don't know how I saw that, to be honest. Um... Beats me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there is, our, and that's our second shiny flittle. Um, so we could technically evolve that one, and when we evolve it, it will be our 64th shiny. Um, wild. <laughs> All right. Um, we didn't even have, we walked from that rock to here. So like once again, it was not, not five minutes later after we went adventuring. Um, so, classic. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's keep running, I suppose. Um, let's climb this mountain. Um, honestly, that works out really, really well, because that little hunt that I did was not a fun one. Um, because it's such a, like a, it's just a small Pokemon, so even though it has a pretty good shiny, it was just impossible to see. So, I will take that 100%. Um, Alright, so we're going to head into here, I think. And we climb up. No way! That's another one! What is going on? What is going on? Um, okay. Well, now we have three shiny flittle. Um, <laughs> is it just shiny, f is it like shiny flittle community day or something in Pokemon Go? That's wild. Huh. All right. Don't devalue them, Niantic. Um, it's too late for that. Um, okay. I will take it. I'm... <laughs> I'm not mad at all. How wild is that? The odds of that have to be pretty low. Like, I know we have the shiny charm and everything like that. But that was pretty... Like, the odds still aren't that great. Like, they're not, they're not that good. I think it's still, like, 1 in 700. So, it's not the highest by any means. Um, but, alright. Sure. Whatever works. Um, so, yeah, I, we'll just honestly just keep running along. Seeing if any, if any more flittles are green. Oh, it's a dark type Glalie. Is this a? I thought these were always six star reds. Oh. Um, all right, so let's just keep going. The Choodle. I'm now just so concerned by every little thing that I see because it could be shiny at this point. Um, we're kind of on par with that one day that I had near the beginning where I ended up finding, I think it was eight total random shinies. Um, it was the same day that we lost the Tatsugiri, so it also lives in infamy. Um, but that day I found eight random shinies and we're currently up to not technically three because it was still an outbreak, but it, I don't even act. It might've actually been still kind of the full odds because the outbreak hadn't boosted yet because we were only 
one Ian counters in. So that one technically might have been full odd too, so we might actually be at three kind of full odd shinies today. Um, and we're not even an hour in. So that's kind of neat. Um, let me, while I'm thinking about it, let's add little to the, to the, the layout. It's both. Add a little down here, um, and I guess we'll duplicate it. <laughs> so we got two of them. So, surprise, there's two flittles. Um, <laughs> that's unreal. Save. Good call. Thank you. Thank you for that. A good call. What? So... Uh, this is the great crater Paldeo, so we don't want to get too high on this thing. Um, let's go back down here. There's the the tentacle toads cool. Um, the Pokemon company released a kind of fun video today um, celebrating that there are now officially over a thousand Pokemon um, I think there's a thousand and eight Pokemon now um, and so they did kind of a little video on YouTube where they showed all of the encounters like all of the first encounters for each of the new Pokemon or just for all of the Pokemon, so over a thousand Pokemon. It was kind of fun. So, worth a little check out if you just have eight minutes to to watch. So, you can see this little fungus. Uh -oh. Oh, we even, I thought that was a bush. That Pokemon camouflage has got me twice now. Um, and yeah, once we get to the forest, we should be able to evolve the one of the flittles, one of the three flittles that I have now, um, into Espathra. So, that'll be kind of a fun thing. Let's do that. I don't care about running through my dog because there's no Pokemon. Um, we get a shiny Fido. No. I also did not see those micro, so I'm being very, very observant today. Um, Alright, so we'll go up into the cave and see if we can get something in there. That's kind of fun. Um, Scyther. I did find out um, through TikTok, actually, um, that Shiny Ditto and Shiny Zoroa don't appear as um, a Shiny Pokemon in the overworld. So they'll just appear as like a normal Persian or a normal Satoddle or something. Um, and so Shiny Hunting Bows is just a pain. 
Um, so you really just have to rely on your buddy. And if they don't attack and it looks like a normal Pokemon, you have a shiny. Um, but you can't just kind of run around to see if you can find one. So, it's kind of annoying. It's very annoying, Tipsy. So, that hunt will be just a pain. We'll have to do like a normal sandwich or a dark type sandwich and just... That's really the only way I feel like with those ones. Purple? No. Are you blue? No. Um, Frigibax would be another fun one to try and go do. Again, since we kind of started it at the end of that other sandwich, um, be kind of a fun one to try and finish eventually as well. Um,. But we have plenty of time to do that. So in the meantime, we'll run over to Tag Tree Thicket um, and just see if we can get anything else along our way. We're already uh, two shinies in, four just random running around shinies. So. I don't know if we can increase on that luck. Um, also, at this point, I think it's probably just best to take this little, little thing. I believe this takes us right to Tag Tree Thicket. Yeah, it's down here. Yeet. Now, let's go ahead and we'll just make it to the edge over here, where their base is not. And... Let's get a lay of the Pokemon that spawn here, because I think if we do a Poison-type sandwich... Uh, I mean, we'll for sure get other stuff, because um, I know that... Uh, Fungus spawn here, um... And we'll get Shrewdle and Gurfaii, which is kind of fun. Um, but we will for sure get Fungus spawning more. Um, Impidimp is a really good shiny that we could hunt at some point as well. Um, but honestly, I think Poison might be pretty safe. Um in terms of spawns because i think it'll it'll really just be the the fungus and then the shrewdal slash grafii so what do we think that poison types like food wise if you had to guess what type of food knowing that ghost types like red onions and dragons like avocados. What do we think? Spoiled fish. Also, I've been catching all of the Goomies that I see in Pokemon Go for you, Tipsy. So, I should have a decent stack of them for you. Cool. Um, Alright, so we need to go to the sandwiches and see the poison types like green pepper. So this is going to be an oops all green pepper sandwich. Um, oh, I think. Yeah, I think it'll really just be those three Pokemon that keep spawning with that sandwich. Um, I guess other stuff will spawn just because that's how this stuff works. Um, there's never... The isolated spawns don't actually happen very well, it seems. Um, for some stuff. 
for others it works really well. But let's go ahead and oh here's the Basculin outbreak. Um, so we'll avoid this area. The woods are hopping. We got many a thing. Oh, we'll also get Venonet, which also isn't awful. But that might just be down in this area. So, um, yeah, we'll just kind of run around. We'll make a sandwich and then see what happens. So, let's go up to a flat area. We'll go ahead and save. And then we'll just start running around. So, go ahead and make it. Make a picnic. And we will make an extra green pepper sandwich. Um, so we'll do tomato, onion, three green peppers, and a burger. And then we'll do two of our Herba Mystica. We'll do salty and spicy, I suppose. And then we'll do a red pokeball stick. Now we shall put all the green peppers on this sandwich. I just realized that we've already made a poison sandwich for the whoopers. Um, so, we've done this before. I too also forgot, so. Burger right here, hope everything stays on, and we are good. Throw that Pokeball pick in there. And we've got our poison sandwich that we shall catch all the stuff. So we are looking for the um, fire actually has a pretty good shiny. Um, I am pleased. Let the Grafii hunt begin. Alright, so... Let me make sure I know what shrewd looks like too. Okay. Be pretty obvious, I hope. Yeah, kind of get those. In theory, four Pokemon to spawn. Um, but I also don't know how the Grafii spawn. Cause I know they spawn in those clusters, but I guess I don't know if they spawn outside of that cluster. So we'll just have to see. But otherwise, we're looking for blue fungus. Blue-eyed... Um, um, uh, Venonette, and then Purple-Eyed Shroodles. So those are kind of our targets at the moment. So I'm just gonna run around and hope for the best, and then if the sandwich does not give us a shiny, we will reset. And if it does, we will be happy, happy folk. Two. Okay. Um, 
so you know while we run around um i'm very excited to try and do the um soul silver um on the little emulator thing i think it'll be really fun um i haven't played soul silver in a long time um but it was one of my favorite games um, it's basically a remake of Pokemon Silver, um, but they added some new stuff in there. So, like, there's a whole nother Suicune-type storyline to kind of mimic Crystal-ish in a way, um, which is a good time. And then you can have Pokemon follow you, which is always a fun time as well. Um, but, yeah, I think... I think it'll just be kind of fun to go back to um, back to Generation 2 after doing um, mostly, we've done a little bit of 4 um, with Brilliant Diamond um, and a little bit of Legends Arceus, but mostly what we've done is 8 and 9 with Sword and Shield and then Scarlet and Violet, so it'll be kind of fun to go back. Um, back to really 2D graphics, um, the little, the little icons, um, and that kind of stuff, which is funny, so, um, yeah, I think, I think maybe we'll try and do that on Sunday, we'll give it a kind of a, a test run, just to see how it, how it goes, um, but I think, I think it'll also just give us another playthrough to do. So like we can do um, Soul Silver like once a week. Um, we can pick a day that we want to do it. And oh, there's a little bird here too. Um, turns out there's a lot of poison types in Tag Tree Thicket. Um, so it'll just kind of give us a game to play through um, where we're not just shiny hunting or we're not doing anything like that it's just a full straight playthrough we'll go through we'll collect all the badges we'll visit Kanto we'll do all the stuff that you do um, and yeah so elite four the champion of Lance um, and then depending on how far we get um, then we can also battle red, so I think it'll be fun. Um, I'm gonna kind of do the same thing, but a little different. Where like you guys can still nickname stuff if you, we like we want to change the party, we can still do that. Um, but I'm trying to think of fun things that is like kind of not exclusive to, but kind of a part of. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, where we could like redeem channel points for fun stuff. Um, but I have to think through that a little bit more too, just to make it a little more interactive and just kind of fun to fun to watch. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Or your eyes to red. Oh, a little shrewdel. Um, and then I was thinking just some other games that we could try and play through as well is that we could do basically another playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Um, since Tears of the Kingdom are coming out or is coming out in May. Um, I feel like we have a good amount of time to try and do that on stream. Um, as kind of like a pre-playthrough before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So I think that gives us four, four and a half months before it comes out. Um, so I think that could be kind of fun to do 
Um, so, yeah. Just trying to switch it up a little bit versus just all Pokemon Scarlet. Mostly just so that I don't burn myself out on on the game, because I don't I wanna keep playing it for the foreseeable future, but I don't wanna burn out on it. So been trying to think of other games and those were kind of my ideas, so <laughs> very on board. We will take it. We love being on board with I random ideas that I have, so we will take it. Absorb a bulb. Huh. I need to see this guy. He's in a bush. How am I supposed to see him when he's in a bush? Posture check. Ugh. That's something I need to be better with, too. I need a new chair. I really need a new chair for this. Um, this one's old and like it leans back this far and that's that's like without making it lean back. Like I need a chair that's just stiff. Um, so this chair this chair was a hand me down from Jesus um, back in the day. So it's just an old chair. Mine is a poorly designed chair from the 80s. I could see that. So, chairs are just so expensive. I didn't realize how expensive they were until I looked into it and I just, I feel like a pretty standard Okay, nice chair is like five hundred dollars, which is wild to me. Would have thought that that back health costs so much. Let's see. So we are getting kind of those four things that I was thinking that we would get. Um, definitely getting a lot of fungus spawning on here, but a decent amount of shrewdal too. Um, so hopefully we can get something here. Um, we are about 10 minutes into the sand beach. The sand beach. Um, so, I'll just have to keep checking these guys' eyes. They're normal types too, so if this one doesn't work out, we could try normal. Um, but I also don't know what else normal could throw in there. As normal. Oh, we would just get a lot of, uh, squirrels. It'd be oops all squirrels. Uh, which probably wouldn't be a great... Time. Squovitz for days. By sharp there. We 
Venomoths back here, so the Venonets change into Venomoth. Um, are you sure? No. Could technically find a shiny Venomoth as well on this one. But yeah, we're still even getting greedent, so I feel like we would get all of the all the squirrels on that one. Little loopers. What? Hello. Let's see. None of these ones are shiny. This seems to be a really good area though. I wonder if we can leave and come back and if we'll get just those Shrudel slash Grafai ice bombs or if we'll get other stuff. But there were a lot of them right there. Fix the posture. I am sitting up straight. Just luck that one time with all those spawns, so just keep running around then. We have green eyes, but we want the purple eyes. I think the fungus should be pretty easy to spot um, because you can just kind of see the tops of their heads as they move around um, versus like in Pokemon Go where you only get a front view of them so you actually cannot tell if it's shiny until it sparkles. Um, I was so lucky that I got two of those guys, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. I was very pleased. I don't have much luck, but when it is luck, it's that I get the exact same Pokemon several times over. Um, not new ones, just the exact same ones, but several times. That is my superpower in Pokemon Go. Yours is raiding, mine is catching so many of the exact same shiny. So. <laughs> tomato, tomato. You say spending too much money, I say you get a lot of shinies. Sure looks like again. I think it's. Oh, it's not super noticeable unless you see it from the front, so. Where are we at? It's about halfway down now. Hmm. 
I'm gonna decorate your office for Pokemon Day. Everybody's favorite day of the month, February 20th, right? Is that the day? Um, I don't, I don't know. I'll look. I don't know if I have any party supplies. Oh, is it the 27th? It is one of those two. It's one of them. Oops. These bushes don't help anybody out. Noise. Hello, James, you've been exposed. Um, I mean, I have tons of pins if you want pins to pin up places. Um, I have tons of extras and that kind of stuff. But in terms of, like, other stuff, I don't know how much I have, so. these shiny poison types out. Eh. Bi sharp would be a fun shiny to get as well, just for King Gambit. There's a lot of shinies in this game that I think would be fun to hunt, so I'll just do our best. We have plenty of time and plenty of shinies to find, so. Oh, classic. That timing, though. I don't even remember the last time I checked that slack. In a while. It was a good time, though. I really enjoyed living up there. <laughs> Are you an hashtag active mod? In theory. Well done. I bet you're doing a great job. Technically, you're actively modding here, so. You're doing great. Big difference is that the Shrudel has a purple eyes versus the green eyes.
paused there for a second. A tart apple. Um, you don't have purple eyes. You don't have purple eyes. You don't have purple eyes. Hello, belly bolt. Exactly. We're actually in an okay spot for it to decide to want to destroy itself, so. Bush. Eight minutes left on this one. Too much defense, although I guess it doesn't super matter. Your little sh a little fungus. Um, Maybe. The shrewdos are so weird. I feel like that's maybe the Pokemon in this game that I, I'm not 100% sure about. Um, in terms of just design-wise. Like, even Bramblin, I feel like, has a, has a purpose, even though it's just a tumbleweed. Shrewdle just seems like an odd little thing. And I don't know, I'm still not convinced. Not convinced about the shrewd. No, the Gurfaya it makes sense. It's these little things. Like what is this? What is it for? I don't get it. No, Gurfaya, I, I love the design of Gurfaya. Um he's he's a champ. It's the pre evolution shrewdel that I just I just don't I'm not sure about. I'm not convinced. Not convinced about the shrewdle. It's a hidden fungus. A fungus in some flowers just hiding away. Right, I think we're probably actually pretty close on the sandwich. We have about five minutes remaining on this sandwich. So we'll keep just keep running around, see if anything pops up. Um, 
So yeah, main target is Grafii with Shrewdle being just a close second since we can get a Grafii from it. Um, and then the Fungus and the Venonet are three steps below all of them, and then it's them. Are your eyes the green? Let's. And yeah, I don't think normal would be that much better in terms of spawns because we would probably just get so many Squobit. Um, but maybe it would be better. Um, we can see though. Like we'll we'll see how this one goes. Once this one ends, we'll just run around a little bit more. Um, and go from there. Um, this is the only spot Grafii spawn. But I think the Shrewdle spawn in some other places. Um, so we could also take a look at that. I think we're going to have to lean pretty heavily on the poison typing, though. Because I feel like... Um, normal types just spawn everywhere, so... We won't be very good off with... The normal sandwich, so... Grass kind of makes a herd too. Two and a half minutes. So yeah, it's not a bad idea. After this, we'll go see. Um, we'll go see if Shrewdle has any other spawn points that we could maybe do a little bit better on this was just the first that came to my mind um because i knew that grafia spawned here but i know strudel spawns at the very very beginning of the game um kind of like right before you enter the mesa goza um but we might get other poison types there i'm not 100 percent sure we might not, though. Um, I was thinking Badoo was in this game, but I don't think Badoo is actually there. Because I know a lot of baby Pokemon spawn over there, because there's like Bonsly, um, Pichus, and that kind of stuff. But if Badoo isn't in this game, and, and it's not, that actually might be an okay spot to try and do it, so... But we'll check other spots too just to see if we get lucky there. Um, just check the, the clawed sign just to see. Um, we have 50 seconds left on this very, very rude poison sandwich. Um,
I know, and there were four things for us to hunt. It's very rude. I think, and that is it now. So, we'll go ahead and reset. But before we do that, let's see. Where else should I live? Ah, uh, so we'll do this. We'll just go back. There's a lot of S's. Wow. Shredal. Oh yeah, so it does spawn quite a bit. Um, let's check out right before Mesa Goza and see if there are any other poison types there because I think that might be the move. Did it. I wasn't paying attention to that part. Have they ever seen a mouse? Apparently not. Right, so Scatterbug isn't poison, neither is Tarunchula. Um, we might get some Mooper, which isn't the end of the world. Um, Boyds. Yeah, and then the shrewd will spawn here. So I think this is probably the move. So let's give that a shot. We'll do a quick reset to get our Urban Mystica back. And then we'll go Shrewdle hunt and See if we can get the little shrewdel. The shrewd. Right, so let's go ahead and fly over to this Pokemon Center. In Mesa Goza. And we'll go ahead and just make a sandwich right here. Lame. They're fine. They're fine if I picnic. So, we'll do one last sandwich for the evening, probably. Um, and if no, do a hamburger, spicy sour, and a Pokeball. But yeah, I think, I think Sunday. Um, honestly, we can make kind of a game time decision if we want to try and start Soul Silver or ooh, that was a bad placement. Oh, just hopefully that doesn't come and bite me. Let's see if we can push it down. Oh, um, no, I lost a green pepper. Oh no.
In theory, we should still be fine though, because we still have eight, or no, what, yeah, eight green peppers on this sandwich. I'm sure we're fine. Boop. So hopefully we still got our poison sandwich. All right, we did get sparkling, so it did work. So losing one uh, green pepper wasn't the end of the world, thankfully. Um, but, let's see if the shoot will spawn, or if we need to go somewhere else. There's a shoot -le. Um, this is not looking great in terms of number of shoot -le. There are some, but I don't know if it is more than the other spot. Eh, actually. It's actually okay. I think. You're definitely getting some shrewdle. I think down there was pretty popular. So let's just go reset the spawns down there and see if we can keep the shrewdle spawning in this area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's really just four poison types. It is just shrewdle, so that's good. Can we find a shiny shrewdle? All grass kind of makes it hard to see them, but like, I don't know any place that wouldn't have the grass with these guys, so. Oh, hidden trudel. Squirrels. Alright, so about the sun card. Welcome back. We are hunting Shrudel. Our first sandwich expired, so we are now on sandwich number two. Different location. Yeah, honestly, this spot's not bad. You're seeing a good amount of shrewdle. Oh, hello, Blue.
Ja, schöner. No, I didn't touch it. I'm very stoked that it's going to be a three day weekend this weekend. Perhaps it is us who is being hunted. Oh, oh no. Um. But this one's always bittersweet, too, because this is like the last, at least for me, it's the last, like, company holiday that I get for, uh, like, three months or something, I think, till Memorial Day. Oh, that's even more. That's like four, almost five months. Um, I don't get President's Day. You do work Saturday morning now. That's you have are Saturdays pretty busy or are they always like does it um does it fluctuate? Gotcha. That is true. Um, that is that is the weekend, isn't it? Of go tour. It would have been nice if I had just gotten it off, but alas. Some of them are insane. Some are chill out. Well, hopefully it's a chill one for you. Hoping for a chill Saturday morning for something in this rack. The scatter bug. Um, doing decent on our sandwich. Hello, whoops. They spawn down here. Um, it does not look like they do. Yeah, we'll tip up. Yeah, man, these poison sandwiches are being rude.
A surprise scatterbug. Let's see. Um, going back to like the older generations too will be interesting because there's um i think starting in x and y they added the permanent experience share so like when one of your pokemon gets experience everybody gets experience um and that's not how it used to be so in soul silver there's an there's an item called the experience share but it, you only give it to another pokemon so only max of two pokemon get kind of the experience boost so we'll have to do a little more battling battling will be a lot more important versus like in this one we skipped a lot of trainers um that honestly I, at this point i don't even know if it's worth going back to try and battle them um but in that so like even this guy this was like one of the very first trainers um <laughs> so we're gonna have to do quite a bit more battling in that game so hello it's a spupa hello spupa That is also true. Very, very true. In, in the old ones, if you just even came close to them, they, they challenge you to a battle, so. They're definitely more, this one was a lot more optional whether you battled people. Um, which I don't know if I like to be honest. I feel like just make me battle them because otherwise I won't. So. Let's And it's not the location, because we're getting plenty of Shrudel. Um, like, honestly, a lot more than I thought might show up here. So, I did not get close to the Wooper. So, we are just not getting lucky rolls with this one. We wasted all of the luck on the... Uh, the stone journer and then the two flittle. Those were just. Oops, all of your luck gone. So. We've used it all. It was fun though. I wouldn't change it. No shoes.
the whoops. I think, um, I'm pretty sure that Soul Silver doesn't even have a shiny charm as well. So I think that, I believe that the odds are double or like half. So it's one in 8,000 as I think the, the base shiny rate in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So. If we find a shiny, it'll be just pure luck. And it'll also be very sad because there's no way for me to... Get... There it is! There's a shiny Shrudel! I don't know how I saw that. But, there is the little Shrewd. Um, alright, let's do... What do we think? Heal? Heal ball? Another pinky, or should we do Premier Ball? What are we feeling? Because the one that. <laughs> not the Master Ball. That one does fit the best, like 100%. But that is a big no. My dude. You are level three. Six, sorry. Sorry. There we go. There's the shrewd. Just baby. All right, we've got a shiny shrewdle. Um, they gave us shrewdle ink. Um, and yes, he just pretty much just has the purple eyes. Um, and we have 13 minutes left, so we do have time to try and find one more. Um, in terms of other poison types, we've already hunted, um, what's his name? Wooper. But we do technically need one more Wooper. But they do spawn here, so we might get lucky just with whooper spawns. Um, but in terms of other poison types, I'm trying to go through my head. and I don't know if there are many more, to be honest. Could Google it and see... But I'm, I'm okay just doing the wasted, not wasting, but like using the rest of the sandwich for Shrudel. As we do need technically another one for a living shiny dex. Um, so we need one of each in order to evolve and all that fun stuff. Just basically have the entry in our living shiny decks so i think that's the goal that we want to implement we'll see how long that lasts um but i think that's a good goal for now
right. Um, do, do, do. Want the purple eyed shrewdle. Um, I will for sure take the one though. The the poison sandwich was starting to make me think that we weren't gonna get it though. I should save since we did get the we did get a shrewdle so we should save just to keep that just in case um. so who knows what can happen with the game three knives I do like that the Shrewdle will face you. Um, it makes checking their eyes a lot easier rather than them running away from you. So that's a that's a big help. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen another Oricorio spawn other than the other than the Baile one. Oh, interesting. I think you are sus, it's true. It is true. Very happy the rain stopped. That's always a pain. We have six minutes left on the sandwich. Um, one shiny in tow. So overall good sandwich. But can it be a better sandwich? With another shiny strudel. Yeah, I feel 
feel like I've never seen the other Oricorio in this game. But I guess they're around. I just feel like I've only seen the Bailey form. I wonder what fairies like to eat. Rainbows. And fear. Rainbows and fear. What are you thinking? What are you thinking the... Uh, the Fido? Was that where you were? Oh! Oh no, it was the purple flowers! Oh, it tricked me! Oh no. Oh no, it was the purple flowers and it was perfectly in line with it. Oh gosh. I totally thought that that was it. I wholeheartedly. We were fooled. Fooled by the flowers. I'm definitely running low on time now. We'll keep trying. See if anything pops up on our way. I wanted to do it went to jump um, all right, so we're at a minute so we'll just do as fast of rides as we can do but I still want to be able to check their eyes. Didn't run into it. 
I ran between it. I might have done us in. 30 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, spawn. Alrighty. Um, we did get one little shrewdle, um, which is pretty good. I'm glad that we actually got one. Um, that is a nice thing. Um, good work, good work, team. Um, shrewdle acquired. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and save it one more time. Um, let me pull over the Shrewdal instead. Uh, Oop. With the little Shrewd. Just up and down here. Um, but a four shiny evening. Um, so we cannot complain with that at all. Um, but yeah, I think... I think, what are we up to now, technically, according to the profile? I think 64. Yep, 64 shinies. Um, so bump this up to 64 out of 400. So we did get technically two new shinies. Oh, we should, um, let's evolve up a, a flittle. Um, since we can then bump it up one more time. So, let us... Where did the flittle go? Did it go to the end? Yeah, it didn't. So, we'll go over to here. Um, let's grab our first flittle as well. Uh, <laughs> so we have a three flittle. Um, none of them have marks, so that, ooh, but the, the Shrudel does, so we can check what that is as well. Um, so, honestly, this one's already the level, so let's pull him in, and then we'll also check what the Shrudel title is. Um, so, for the... Do a rare candy for the flittle. And that should evolve here. We've got our little flittle. Um, and honestly, Aspothra has a really good shiny, so. There is Aspothra of the shiny variety. Um, and so we can now bump this up to 65 out of 400. So technically three new shinies today. Um, go ahead and teach it Lumina Crash just for fun. And then we'll check what the, the Shriddle is marked as. It is the Shriddle the Sleepy. Um, honestly a mood. So now every time we throw him out in battle it will say go Shriddle the Sleepy. Yo same. <laughs> Um, but yes, so we now have our three flittle, um, and then a, I guess we should pull, let's just take the first ones, put them over here, um, and then Shrudel up here. So, yeah, technically four shinies today, three new ones. Um, which is not bad at all. So we will take that. Um, yeah, so next stream will be on Sunday. Um, I think I put it as... Did I do it as noon? Um, let me look. Let me look what I did. Where's my schedule? Will it not show me while I'm live? It might not. Um... So, anyway, the schedule's on Twitch as well as Twitter and 
Instagram, so but I believe it's at noon Mountain Time on Sunday. Um, we'll see if we want to do more Scarlet, or maybe we'll do our first playthrough of Soul Silver. So stay tuned for that, and I hope that you have a good Friday, and we'll see you on Sunday. Goodbye.